Welcome to this exam 7410 video short. This video short is on DHCP for IPv6. I'm going to look at a very basic configuration with emphasis on creating IPv6 DHCP reservations. These video shorts are intended for people studying for the 7410 Microsoft exam and cover areas of special interest for the um, exam itself. So configuring an uh, IPv6 scope is very similar to configuring an IPv4 scope. You put very similar settings in during the configuration, but with some little differences. For example, when you configure an IPv4 scope, you include both a start and end address for your scope. With a DHCP v6 scope, instead of including the start and end address, you include a network ID and prefix value. The presumption is then that all the addresses there um, covered by that prefix value and network ID will be made available for DHCP clients. Just like when creating IPv4, an IPv4 scope then, you would also include an exclusion range so that certain addresses that are part of your scope are not given out by the DHCP server. One other big area that's um, different but yet slightly the same uh, in IPv6 configuration is configuring reservations. For both IPv4 scopes and IPv6 scopes, you can configure DHCP reservations. But when you configure an IPv4 scope, you use a MAC address to identify the client that you want to reserve the IP address for. For IPv6, we use DOIDs or DHCP unique identifiers and interface association identifier values. These two numbers can be found um, on your network interface card and both these numbers are required to configure an IPv6 reservation. One other main difference that's worth pointing out at this point as well is that the new 2012 DHCP failover feature, which is an exciting feature that is covered in one of our uh, technical video presentations. Um, this feature is only available for IPv4 scopes and not IPv6 scopes. So let's take a look at configuring uh, basic DHCP scope for IPv6 and setting up a DHCP reservation. Here we are then inside my DHCP server management tool. Uh, this DHCP server is authorized and ready for me to configure scopes. Now, uh, we, we're not really interested in IPv4 scopes at this point. Uh, for this demonstration, we're interested in IPv6 scopes. So if I access the IPv6 uh, section, then if I right click IPv6 and say new scope. This starts the new scope wizard. Um, some of the items through here will be very similar to when we're configuring IPv4 scopes. Some things will be very different. So the first um, screen asks us for a name of the scope. So scope 1. And we can put in an optional description for the scope as well. The next screen is, is different from what we would see on IPv4 scopes. On IPv4 scopes, we would be expected to provide a start and end address uh, and uh, subject mask for our, our scope. For IPv6, we provide the network address and a prefix value. Um, slash 64 being the default prefix value. And then it presumes that we want to assign all the addresses from this uh, prefix to our clients. Just like IPv4 scopes, we can configure exclusion range as well. So I can put start and end address in for this exclusion range. And just like IPv4, these addresses will not be assigned to our uh, DHCP clients. They will be used to, be given, to give static addresses to um, the DHCP server itself, other key servers on our network, routers, switches, and other hardware devices. We are then asked about lease time, and there's two lease times here, the preferred lifetime and the valid lifetime. The preferred lifetime is how long we expect a DHCP IPv6 client to keep its address. The default is eight days, and that address will be valid for that eight day period. Um, that eight day period, then after eight day period, the DHCP client will start to renew its address on the network and it's the maximum lifetime it can have this address for is 12 days. After 12 days, if a client has not been able to renew its address, it will stop using that DHCP assigned address. And that's it. Uh, we're not asked about scope options during the new scope wizard, unlike IPv4 where we'd be asked 
um, about scope options. So all I have to do now is to say activate scope. So once scope is activated, um, it will start giving out addresses to machines on the network. And if I go, go inside my scope, look at some of its details. So we have then uh, nodes beneath here for viewing address leases, for viewing our exclusion range if any is configured. We have the scope options section where we can configure options. And there's a list of options that I can give, give option information that I can give to DHCP clients. And we also have the reservation section. Now, again, this is um, not new concept, really. IPv4 has reservations, but the way that reservations are um, configured is different. In IPv4 scopes, we use the MAC addresses of client machines in order to reserve an IP address for them. So we, we create the reservation, we type in the client's MAC address and type in the IP address I want that client to obtain from my DHCP server. When configuring an IPv6 uh, reservation, we need two pieces of information. The first piece of information we need is called DUID or DHCP Unique Identifier. The second piece of information we need is a, called an IID or Interface Association Identifier. Now both piece of information can be found by running ipconfig forward all on your machine in the same way you find a client's MAC address. And we'll see some output of that um, in a little while. For now, let's create a reservation. Before I do though, I'm just going to minimize this screen a little bit for reasons that become clear in a second. So if I say new reservation, and I provide a name for the reservation and a valid IPv6 address from my scope. And then we need the DUID and IIDs. Now here on the left-hand side in Notepad, you can see uh, interface association identifier number and a DHCP unique identifier number that I've already obtained from one of my uh, client machines. Uh, these numbers are quite large, so to save time, I put them in Notepad. And if I copy the DUID, and paste that into my reservation and do the same for the IID number as well. Copy that and put that into my reservation as well. And then say add. So there we have a, a new DHCP uh, version six reservation. Um, that the address now will be reserved for this machine and will only be assigned to that machine. Let's take a look now at the output from IP uh, IP config for us all uh, command and take a look at where we find these do it and add numbers to make our IPv6 reservations. Here we have the output then from IP config for us all and you can see for my wireless LAN adapter we can see my uh, DHCP v6 IID and DHCP v6 client do it as well. So both of these values would be needed to make a reservation IPv6 reservation for this um, client machine. Look out for more video shots on the MCSA Server 2012 R2 curriculum and feel free to check out my blog for more technical information about these subjects, www.mgbleads.co.uk. Thank you.